Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people. I'm that one dude Chris from YouTube and welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. Things are getting serious. Shit's getting intense now. Jaime died on us last episode. Now, I don't know how it happened. <laughs> no clue what happened to Jaime. He was he was here one moment and then gone the next. Stop the cap. <laughs> So I fingers crossed that no more characters die on us because that wasn't my fault. <laughs> we are now on chapter six. The last two chapters that we went over, uh, Jaime, Christine, Linda, Robert, they all went to the mill to film the rest of their movie. They got the rest of the movie filmed and then uh, some shit went down. The ghost of Frank Stone showed up thanks to them actually filming the spot where he died and so the curse that was there was seeped into the camera somehow i have some i feel like that has something to do with augustine because she was the one who gave them the camera initially but uh you know what they say about keys gotta be a lock nearby mm. No one mm. says that, Maddie. Mmm, find a place. No, that's probably not it. Am I? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, Jaime did die. It was my fault. I had him go back for Christine. I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. I don't know what I thought he was going to be able to do to a spectral being. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. You guys are lucky that I didn't end up going back to do that chapter again. It's a lot of dollar for an old movie. Long Island Auction House, Invoice, Augustine Lieber, Garrett Manor, Lot 106, Description, 8mm Film, Cinema Cult Rare. Okay. Quantity 1, Price $10,120.20, Total Tax 2024. Amount due 12000 Holy shit. I mean, if you got it like that, go ahead, boo. Deed of sale. Augustine has paid large sums for other 8mm films apart from... Okay. <sighs> the Legion. Hell yeah! It's one of my favorite killers. Yeah. I don't know. I felt really bad about it, but it was like, what was I expecting? I should have known that was going to happen. God, I'm so stupid. Movie review. Murder Mill. Reviewed at the second fiendish... Des des Holy shit. Second Fiendish Desires Fan Festival by your correspondent, Rabbit Hound. At first glance, the only real issue with Murder Mill is it is unskillful. It's is its unskillful composition, the cinematic equivalent of your sister's kids putting on a play for the family before Thanksgiving dinner. The film sadly begins to dissolve into a vehicle for the filmmakers to not scare us, the audience, but instead show us how many other better horror films they've seen. The thing is, these aspects are not unusual in the genre and have, more or less, come par for the course on the festival circuits. What was unusual, however, was the oddly unsettling feeling that blanketed the 10 p.m. audience from the first frame, and I honestly cannot explain why. The overall sense of dread that had dread of that e the overall sense of dread that evening was palpable and unlike anything I had experienced before or am keen to experience again. The screening was mercifully cut short though, as two festival goers began to assault nearby audience members, holy shit, before turning on one another, turning what was a below average movie going experience into absolute pandemonium. This reviewer could not get out of that theater fast enough. I'm not sure if this is a trick or a gimmick of some kind on the part of the filmmakers, and I'm not sure how that would even happen, but I'd have to imagine anyone with a with the mind to do something so devious would make a much better film than this. Ah, uh, yeah, that was the curse of Frank Stone. Murder Mill exerts a violent effect on those who watch it. That's probably why I want to beat Stan's ass. I didn't just watch the movie. I watched them make it. I believe this key is for this down here. You. Hell yeah. Bro, I'm so smart. I'm so good at video games. Something's missing. What do you mean? Ah, this little piece right here. Find the missing piece of the diorama. Well, where am I supposed to do that? Stan! 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 Stanford! Stanley! Linda! 
Lynn! Lindy! Lynn! Linda! I just need an adult to tell me what to do next. <laughs> Something this weird has to be important. Does it open? Uh, does it? Missing piece. Okay, so if this is the missing piece, then how the hell am I supposed to... You're coming with me, buddy. Oh, okay. So that was the missing piece. Why did it say that... Huh? If that was the missing piece, then why does this say missing piece up here? Miss. Oh, it's missing a piece. I... Every single time I, I do something like that, I always think of that Drake and Lil Yachty meme where they're sitting at the computer and they're like... <laughs> and that's the piece that we need for the... Some kind of hammer. I wonder if it's from the statue of that little dude. No, Madison, really? Jesus Christ, you're so smart. How would I have ever figured that one out without your dialogue? One hillbilly and his hammer reunited. Hey! Okay, time to unlock that gate. Linda! Stan! I figured it all out by myself! You guys are useless pieces of shit! What prize lies behind the mystery door? Do I even want to know? Uh, hello? Into Maybe the it's a pattern, but I can't make heads or tails of it. Or heads and heads. And heads. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to rotate it? Grab? Oh. Um... I'm kind of just looking at the inscriptions. I did that purely by <laughs> accident. That was purely by accident. Huh. That was not so bad. It really wasn't. Oh, hell yeah. Is this the champion's hall? Are we going to see a bunch of masks and costumes from all the, the iconic killers in Dead by Daylight? Cause that's the huntress right there in the the left corner. Damn, this is cool. Augustine's got money. If you were hoping for some insight into how Augustine's mind works, I think you got your wish. Uh, hooray! Tell her to slide some of that to I me. Expected, but it wasn't this. Let's take a look around. Be careful. Hey, Augustine Liebel. Explore the reliquary and learn more about Augustine Liebel. Okay. Okay, kind of creepy, not gonna lie. It's like a museum for I have no fucking idea what. Ooh. Something unearthly for sure. She thought she could hide a from me. She better fucking think again. 9 of 12. Victor's soldier. She told me they must die. That it must be a violent. That it must be violent to open the gates. Hey, Linda, check this out. What's up, Stan? What do you need, boy? These mean anything to you? Yeah, actually, it's exactly like in my film, The Prophecy of Pain. You know, right after they open the tomb. Yeah, totally. It, it is exactly like that. Huh. There's never... no tomb in the Prophecy of Pain. Ooh, fake oh, fan! Uh, fake fan! Every... Yeah, sorry. I, I was getting into stuff with, with, the, with one of the Come other... Come to think I... of it, I don't think there are any tombs in any of my movies. Fake fan! Never been into ancient curses and all that kind of fantasy stuff. But you know that, right? Since you're such a big fan of my work. Okay, look. You haven't seen a single one of my films, have you? Oh. I am a fan of your reputation. <laughs> sure. Honestly, just when it comes to movies, I'm more of a... 
kind of guy. Like, crowd pleaser, is it? Cliff Barra. My films examine the persistence of evil in the heart of humanity. I'm sorry they're not crowd pleasing enough for you. But now that you've shown your hand, why don't you tell me how you actually came into possession of the film? Mm. Well, if that's what you want to know, I'm afraid I am going to need something in exchange. <sighs> I won't break your nose. I can offer you my friendship a little wager. Uh, he's not going to go for the friendship shit, but I mean, I'd rather be respectful than mischievous. There's really only one thing I can offer you. No, Which actually, is? hold on. I, I kind of made a mistake in that option. Not that it, it probably won't matter, but Stan is being just as mischievous. Why don't I return the favor? Why, why am I being such a bitch right now? I should have gone with the mischievous offer. I don't know what that would have entailed, but I, I think that friendship. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to go for that. You're joking. Right. You strike me as someone who doesn't end up with a lot of people in your corner. That's your opinion? I'm pretty sure that whatever Augustine's up to does not involve us getting the sweet end of the deal. Point. If we've got any shot at figuring out what's going on and maybe getting the upper hand, we gotta trust each other. There's only one person I trust, and he's got two thumbs, and he's this guy. <laughs> you can trust me, Stan. I will give you my word on that. If you tell me the truth about your film strip. I'll, uh, I'll have to get back to you on that. Mm hmm. Okay. This is the second time he's diverted from the topic. I don't know, guys. I'm not really feeling Stan. Well, that's cheery. I see a burning building with two souls trying to leave the house, but they can no longer leave because their souls were always attached to this home. They're lovers. They vowed to never leave the house, but then they got into an argument just before the fire started. And now, they love and hate. Damn, that was deep! <laughs> yo, I might... Yo, take me to an art fair. I'll be able to... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Chris. Press to play. I am uh, speaking from the Tradewinds Movie Theater on Texas Avenue, where we have witnessed, are witnessing some sort of protest, or, I don't know. Uh, all, all I am able to report at this point is there have been several attacks on the general public as well as police and medical personnel. It's not overly clear, at least to us, what the uh, catalyst for, for the situation was, but I can confirm that it started in the cinema itself, as it has been reported an employee was stomped to death during a showing of Murder Mill. Uh, from here, from here I can see Considerable damage done all around us, and police are currently doing their best to control this crowd. Okay, okay, oh no, okay, now now there is an arrest taking place, and several people are moving in, storming the officers at every side. <coughs> oh my god, oh, oh my god, okay, okay, that was an explosion, that was an explosion, I, I can't see, I can't, I can't see, uh, oh my, oh. You did that, Linda. Well, actually, no, 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 no. This isn't even Linda's fault. Linda has nothing to do with this because Christine and fucking Robert, the rumors are true about Murder Mill inciting violent rape. So she didn't know this? She thought it was all a lie? Because Christine and Robert said, oh my God, guys, we should totally film the spot where this guy died. We should, we should film that. That's going to sell millions. Linda had nothing, because she walked out with, um... She walked out with, with Bonnie. Full of fear. Justine Geo, Geo, Jeffrey? Justine Jeffrey. Chapter 8, 28, Manifestation. Getting back to the settlement would have been easy a few hours ago, but the starlight was now suffocated, strangled by storm clouds. Beatrice could, not, could neither see nor hear whether she had been followed, not with the air so full of driving rain as well as the cackling of crows cutting across each other quickly. Quickly enough to sound like mocking laughter. Their cacophony never seemed to fade, no matter how much distance she put between herself and the stage. At least, she couldn't hear the squelching, the slithering, the screaming. Yet, she still pushed on through into, through into the roaring darkness. 
There was no way she could stop. Not now. Not when she had no clue where that thing might be. The thing that Stamper had called Conjured. Created. Oh, the thing that Stamper had called Conjured. Created. Not when the memory of it rising from the sludge and ripping Ron apart was still burning bright in her mind. Something smashed against her shoulder, sending her spinning, tumbling backward into the stones. Sliding down into shallow salt water with a noisy splash, she landed with a painful cry. The sharp metallic taste of blood filled her mouth, and she realized an awful scream as she released an awful scream as her nerves began to burn. She tried to force herself back up, only for her bad ankle to buckle. She dropped down with a scream of pain. Beatrice re reached for the rocks for support, trying to find purchase. But her grasping fingers met only what felt like sinew and spines and sludge. For all the tear tears beginning to fill her eyes, she could just about see the Druinese form looming over her, still dripping with the mud it was born from, and the gore of her friends. The cold, the clouds closed above, and rain beginning to drum once more. A knotted appendage in the monster's loathsome form caught the distance, caught the distant dying half light as its body moved. As the strike, shit. I promise I can read. It's just the fact of trying to read out loud and recognizing what I'm reading, making it sound interesting for you guys. There's a whole process that goes into it that it's like, oh, I stumble over my words sometimes. This whole place is like a film set. Huh? Augustine had an interest in representations of godlike destructive forces. See, I read that perfectly. Oh, it's the Mask of Frank Stone! Is that... Dried blood. Interesting. We're not gonna note anything of that. That is the mask of Frank Stone, and we're not gonna note that. I'm sure we will, but I want to see more of this Frank Stone guy. Bring him on. I want to fuck him up. Or maybe I want him to fuck me up. Hey yo, what the fuck? Oh, I thought that was a gun. <laughs> no. There's no way. It can't be. Why not? A broken Super 8 camera. It can't be. Hey, Linda. You should really come see. You better come take a look at this cliche. Cinema Sin's head ass line. What is this? It was just displayed here open to this page. Talismans contain wells of great power, can take many physical forms, often manifest as keepsakes of past victims. Victims. Keepsakes of past victims, which can become protective talismans for those who bear them. What do you think it means? I don't know. But it must be important to Augustine if it was left open on this page. And encased. Maybe it's... Oh shit, we gotta go! Guys, we gotta hide! Uh, guys, we should probably hide. We're technically not supposed to be in here. Damn! He's asleep! Oh, shit. Sheriff Green. Sam! <laughs> he about all the shit, but he still looks good. Hey, Black really don't crack. My man's still looking fresh as hell. A perilous place. Chapter seven. We're about halfway through now, y'all. Halfway through the game. Retrieve the rest of the crew. It's like he doesn't even question anything they tell him anymore. I mean, he, he's a smart kid, but parents can be wrong. He's got to get that through his smiley little skull. Bonnie, he can't just be a little mama's boy forever. Bonnie, huh? It's getting really cold. Maybe we should, you know, get the others head out. Maybe we should cuddle. Cold. cold. Yeah. I got something for that. Oh? Oh. Pocket warmer. <laughs> I'm such a fan. Uh. I feel like Linda. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? It's the 80s. Everybody was drinking at, at young ages back then. 
Okay, sure. Thanks. It's empty, you dumb fuck. Why would you offer me an empty flask? Oops, I guess I got colder than I thought when I was following you guys all the way out here. That's <laughs> wild. I know my limits. I've had to stay right up against them just to get through the past couple weeks at home. It can't be all bad to spend more time with your family. <laughs> Spoken like a true person who's not spent enough time with my family. I've spent a lot of time with Jaime. <sighs> Jaime's... Dead. Oh, Jaime's dead. All right. He just needs to grow up. Oh my god, I just realized, oh, Bonnie you lost her brother. You convince him to leave Cedar Hills when he graduates. Oh no. He could come to New York, anywhere. He just can't stay here. I don't know if Jaime's ever even imagined himself anywhere else. He doesn't think that far ahead. Well, even if he hasn't, you've got to. What, leave? Yeah. I mean, unless there's some secret, unrequited reason why you might want to stick around. Oh, is that your business? None of that. I don't know. I mean, I feel like... I don't know. Linda, Linda kind of strikes me as the type of person that'll, like, go with the flow. She just does whatever she wants to do. She's not... She doesn't really have a plan, but, like, shit just happens to work out for her. So it's like, I don't really feel like she has any reason to stay in Cedar Hill or Cedar Hills. Yeah. We'll go with playful. And how's that any of your business, Bonnie Rivera? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if there's one single thing a small town like this has to offer, it's freshly squeezed gossip. Why do you hate Cedar Hill so much? You used to be like town mascot. Oh, that was when I thought the world began on Main Street, circled all the way around the earth, and ended right back on Main Street. Once I moved to New York, I realized the real world starts on Canal Street, bounces back and forth between Avenue C and West Side Highway, and ends on 14th Street. Cedar Hills ain't even in the picture. How's it going with your band? I really want to see you play some shows. Oh, done so, broke down, kaput. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. Bands, you know. I started a band to get girls, but I made the grave error of dating a girl in my own band. Mm. Oh, she was cool, but once she found out my trip back home was indefinite, she and the band pretty much moved on without me. Damn. It really be your own sometimes. You deserve better than that. Oh? Yeah, I think so too. Uh, I mean, obviously. Go find everybody else. Obviously, nothing really works out Are between you them sure? because. I was just starting to warm up. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, nothing actually comes of this, but like, it's still kind of kind of nice to see. <laughs> Second, my mom comes home. It's lickety splitsville for this chica. Lickety splits, scrams, wham, bams, and thank you, mans. Why do I have so to go sure. grab this again? I'm leaving Cedar Hills for good. Oh. Oh no, chat. F the chat. Wait, I grab. Yeah, I grabbed that already. Can't say I blame you. Back to the city. Mm, where else am I gonna go? Well, there are other cities, you know. Nah, just the one. Are you sure about that? Mm, same thing I always do. Make shit up, fuck shit up. Maybe make some movies. Oh, yeah? Hmm, yeah, looks fun. Can be, yeah. Where'd you get that camera anyway? Oh, well, it's not mine. I know, it's Jaime's. I asked you. Uh, we got it from a curiosity shop in town. Uh, probably the only one then. Yeah. You don't need to run, Bonnie. I promise I'm not going anywhere without you. I just wanted to keep conversation. Oh, hi, May. Hey. Guys? Oh, hi, May. Hello. Hey, where'd everybody go? Hi, May. No. 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is not where I needed to go. I remember now. I, oh my fuck, dude. I think the closer I get to, to finding out how Bonnie and like everybody else is going to react, the, the worse it's going to be to like realize that I, I did that. I killed, I killed Jaime. And Christine is in another dimension or something. She ain't here. Oh no. Hmm. No. No. Manito. No, 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 no. He's not. He's not. Linda, he's not. He's not breathing. Oh, I think he's far no, from no, breathing. No. How could this fucking happen? How could this fucking happen? That is my fault. I'm so sorry. This doesn't make any sense. We should find out what happened. I mean, I wouldn't be able to keep my composure. I don't think anybody would in this situation. So I'm going to say shocked. I don't, I don't know. This doesn't make any sense. My baby brother. Bonnie, I don't know if it's safe for us to be here. We don't know what happened. Uh, what about the camera? Maybe, maybe they were filming when, uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. But right now we, we should get the fuck out of here. I, know, I don't want to leave Jaime. Whoever did this might still be here. We can't stay, okay? We gotta go. <coughs> what the hell? We gotta fucking go! Just go! Oh no, please don't make me run. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get somebody else killed. Does she not just tell me not to go this way? Oh my god. Oh my god! Um, warded off the killer with the 8mm camera. Okay. What the hell was that? I gotta find a way out of here. Okay, why don't I just go out the way that I came in? Of course, because that makes sense. Bonnie! Bonnabelle! Well, Linda can't die because she's she's in the present. Unless this is a multiverse story and, and the other Linda, uh, and that other Linda is, I don't know. I don't know, man. Lower the scissor lift. I probably shouldn't touch that. I don't know how it works. If I can get up there, that's my way out. Needs power. Of course it does. Of course it needs power. Cause why wouldn't it? Oh, something's gonna jump out of me. 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 All right, I'm fine. I knew you guys were scared. Wait, why the hell did I do that? I could have just walked around here. Okay, I'm just gonna follow the cable. Oh, the generator's sitting right there. I ran right past it. All right, let's fix this generator. It is kind of hiding, like, out in planes. Like, it's not even... Whatever. They didn't even give me a skill check. Get out of here! Be gone, demon! Back, you foul beast! Be gone! You are not welcome here! If I can find what this is hooked up to, maybe that's my way out of here. Are you serious?
Okay. Fine, I guess. Just gonna follow the cables. Following the cables did nothing for me. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Got it. Ooh. 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 Damn. I'm really trying to go for those great skill checks. Ah! It gets me nervous every time, because, like, this game being a story mode is so different from the actual Dead by Daylight game, and it's like, the, the stakes are higher, in my opinion. The, the stakes are so much higher if I fuck up. Lower the scissor lift. Oh shit. shit. Be gone, demon! Back, you foul beast! The, let the pow- what the hell? Let the power of the camera compel you! Hell yeah. I did that. No! It's coming! Wait, again? Get back! Get back! Oh shit, reload, reload, reload. Get back! Back! Back, I say! You are not welcome here! Am I supposed to keep lowering it? Shit! I can hear it! Oh! I see. It's like a waiting game. I'm waiting for the scissor lift to... Okay. Okay. Alright, I got you. Climb up there! Okay. It's gone. Oh god. I need to find Bonnie. Bonnie! Bon Bon! I don't think that there were any collectibles here. Um, but I guess I'll know. You escaped from Frank Stone in the wagon shed. Where is it? Where is my thingy thing? Whatever. Whoa! Easy. Don't even play with me. Oh. I definitely didn't see that. She said to have faith in her, but I feel the pain of what I must do. Okay. Oh God, hi me! Ah! You know how upsetting that is? To have somebody that you genuinely cared about as a character die. Nice. Look at that. Look at that. Because, like, I was... It makes sense as to why uh, Bonnie would be Madison's mom. Because she's the only one that you can't play as, as far as I'm aware. And, you know... Whatever. It makes sense why it wasn't Jaime and Christine, because they can die. If not careful. Mystery Manor. Miss Castle. It's been a long time. Uh, I'm not even gonna... Because he might be the groundskeeper. He might be Augustine's groundskeeper. So I don't... Uh, it's been a long time. Hello, Sheriff Green. It's been a long time, hasn't it? 20 years at least. And you I still don't look keep good. Track of years anymore. Seems to be working out for you. Pretty spry for an old man. I'm sorry, but we have to spare the pleasantries. There's almost no time at all. We need to talk. Okay. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? 
Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? <laughs> you keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Uh oh. Do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, <laughs> Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait. Problem are child? You talking about the film? Oh. Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's going to spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. You really think it's cursed? I mean, I, you're not making a lot of sense. I know it's cursed. We it's have insane. evidence that it's cursed. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I, no, I'm sorry. <sighs> Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right? It was a very generous offer. We haven't committed to anything yet. We haven't committed to anything yet okay okay <laughs> then we can work with this because i don't even know what she and offered okay, us our cards right we might still have a chance to fix it sam is relieved the film hasn't been sold linda what is this guy talking about the film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you it's part of a movie linda made with her friends yeah we're aware of this with my son uh-huh but it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure, malignant corruption. And its hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, Spill the tea. I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh, I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son? Uh oh. And stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life. Uh oh. I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this. Fuck this. <laughs> Shit, man. Fuck this. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying it like that from now uh, on. Should we go after him? Nah, fuck him. I didn't like him to begin with. Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Madison! Was this locked before? Yes. That door very much was locked before. I tried to go for it. I tried to go through that door and it wouldn't let me. Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Stan! Give me one second to explore! I gotta find collectibles and treasures. Treasures of all the sort. Stanford! Investigate the television. Where'd he go? Why would I do that? He probably went through this door. No need to investigate the television. He probably went through the door. Why is this here? Oh my god! 
Holy shit! Wait, that's the curiosity shop. And then so, oh my god! I'm just now realizing something. Cause in the past, when Christine had turned the TV on, it showed a, like a weird corridor, and this is that corridor. Yeah. Chris, pull up a clip from the from the last video. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Maybe if I sit and watch it for a while, something will happen. Oh my god. Oh my god, the hall is in reverse. I mean, not in reverse, but like the hall changed. Oh, the TV's got. Oh my god! What? Now I'm kind of confused as to what kind of story this is. Because, like, this could be like a time travel story. Man, you want a bathroom break or something? Could be a multiverse story. I don't. I don't know, but that shit's fire. Dan! Oh, that wasn't there before. This definitely wasn't there before. Oh god. The occult. Just what I need. Absolutely. Augustine is devoted to a godlike entity. Okay. Well, this is the same kind of green that took uh that took what's her face? Christine. It's the particle accelerator we read about. Christine! Whoa. Is someone actually in there? Uh. Who's in there? Looks like some sort of pattern. Should I be messing with this? I have no idea how this works. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. I think. Deactivate the rings. Hey, calm down. I'm gonna figure it out. Hold on. They always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in their house. No, you didn't. What are you talking about? What? What gives you the idea that every super rich asshole is gonna have a room like this in their house? Really need to shut this thing down. What do you think I'm trying to do, Madison? What do you think we're trying to do? Okay, we're cooking now. Two more of those ring thingies to go. Hmm, this one is a lot harder. Sorry, Christine, you're gonna have to wait just a little longer. Okay, wait, 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 that might be it. This might be it. This just might be it. There we go. Damn. Just hang in there. I I'm, I'm gonna get you out. Hang in there a bit longer, okay? I'm coming to save you. Even though you'd probably already be dead by now. <sighs> Whatever happened to a good old fashioned on off switch? Nah, that's too, that's too simple. One more to go. Okay, I got it. I figured it out now. You want to line it up with the rings outside the the ones that you can't because you can't interact with these last rings here. You can only interact with this one, this one, and this one, but you can't. So you got to line them up with these, right? You, you picking up what I'm putting down? Seeing the vision? So now those are lined up. So I got to line these with these. So that goes there. And then I gotta now line these up with these. How are you doing in there? Oh, dumb question, Maddie. 
This is actually ridiculous. <laughs> I'm working on it, Christine! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I almost wasn't able to do that. You successfully vented the energy in the hollow... Horror... Horror... Ho what the fuck? What kind of room is this? Chapter 10? Meanwhile in Cedar Hills. Oh wait, chapter, wait, was that X or 10? What the hell was that? Was that on chapter nine? What chapter was I just on? Are you all right? Whoa. Whoa. What's wrong, young man? Uh. Nothing. I. Uh... Let me help you. I I'm fine. Yeah, don't touch me. It's nothing. But you look as if something. I'm just looking for my dad, uh, the sheriff. The sheriff. Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh well, uh, yes. Uh, where? <laughs> right. Help me out. Here and there, now and then. All right, lady. I'm about to punch the shit out of strangest you. Strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just just now or what? Uh, it was more than a minute. Less than a life tell him. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm not afraid to punch an old lady. <sighs> sure. Give me the option. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. Give me the option to Decker. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Fuck you, Augustine. Fuck Augustine. Okay. Okay. I knew I wasn't. I knew I wasn't on chapter nine. Interesting. Pretty sure they came down this way. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Sorry, you still owe me some answers. She promised me freedom. I don't know that, so I'm gonna say she offered me. Or you still owe me some answers. Sorry, sheriff. I think you still owe me some answers. <laughs> and how's that? You're acting like a lunatic. Sneaking around? Attacking people? That's not the Sam Green I know. People change over time. The only time I ever saw you even close to this intense was when you caught Chris and Jaime and me at the mill. Ah, uh, yeah. I uh, thought I was being too hard on you at the time. But knowing what I know now, I'm glad I broke your camera. But you never broke our camera. Well, of course I. Huh? You're not okay, are you? I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. I mean, he didn't. He technically didn't break the camera. But, like, he scared us, and so we dropped the camera. So, technically, yes, he kind of did. What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back then? Kids making Super 8 movies? The mill's been gone for years. Uh, I told you, I don't count years anymore. What does that even mean? <gasps> oh, man. What is it? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I, find, uh, uh, I find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are folding in again. And it's, uh, 
Damn. Oh, pouch. Oh. Oh, he's got a gun. Put it back. You chose not to take Sam's gun. Fuck, I probably oh, probably fucked Please. that one up. I probably fucked that one up. Sam, you don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine, now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? I'll help you, Sam. You're not making it very easy. I'll help you, Sam. Let's just make it easy on him. I think I knew something was wrong before I got here. Yes, I just wanted to see it for myself. I'll help you, Sam. Whatever Augustine's up to, I don't think it's good. Sam is relieved you're on his side. Right. I'm gonna trust him with the gun. I, I I feel like if I were to have taken the gun, then I'm gonna end up playing as Sam. I'd be defenseless, and then boom, I get him killed because he doesn't have a gun. Sam. Shit! Sam. What the hell? Sam. Hello. The lights hey, just. Where the hell did you go? The lights just flickered, and he was Sam, gone. Sam, come on. Sheriff Green. Sawyer. Sam. What? What? All right, all right, all right, all right. This is certainly something. It's inviting, isn't it? Makes you want to watch every movie that was ever made. Murder Mine? Hey, what kind of knockoff? There's a whole other alternate version of Murder Mill. Uh, in my universe, we call these parodies. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. The Cedar Hills Tribune, November. That the screening of the film Murder Mill. Wait, this screening never happened. Theater what carnage. Is this? Blamed on sick flick. A recent outbreak of mass violence and pandemonium in movie theaters across the country has been blamed on a low budget horror picture with its roots right here in Cedar Hills. The latest copycat incident in Sacramento occurred last night with the screening of the film Murder Mill, triggering a mass brawl that left 13 injured, three critically. Murder Mill was shot uh, at the defunct Cedar Still Mill and has been afforded a national release in an effort, detractors claim, to cash in on the notoriety of the site where serial killer Frank Stone committed his crimes more than 20 years ago. Since the release, however, there have been repeated episodes of violence and screenings with Sacramento just the, la with Sacramento just the latest in an increasingly long line. Huh. Uh, screening never happened, you say? Oh, this is our fake hand. How did she get it? Augustine has a collection of props slightly different to those used in Murder Mill. Interesting. Just when I thought things couldn't get weird. The gentle touch of death. The nurse. Do they all have pull strings and I just haven't been using them? I mean, so we do know that Augustine has been messing with like particle accelerators and like time travel and shit, but is she traveling to alternate universes to pick up pieces of Murder Mill? And if so, why does it matter so much to her? Why is Frank Stone so important? I mean, really, the game is all about the casting of Frank Stone, but like I have yet to see anything Frank Stone related besides his ghost and him in the intro. I want to see more of this guy. Uh, what the hell is the significance of the lamp? The lamp doesn't seem to be from this time and place. What does that even mean? Why would you say that? It looks like a regular lamp. <laughs> Shit's getting intense. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. Oh, 
This isn't right. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. Collect all murder mill artifacts. I don't... Did I do that? I think my Steam achievements are broken. <laughs> I'm not liking this music. What are you finding out, girl? What you got? These are all copies of Murder Mill from different timelines. 6113? Terra 6113? Terra 4136? Hey! 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 Relax. Have you seen all this? What do you mean? Have you seen what Augustine's been doing? Something's wrong. Like, very, very wrong. Ooh. I think you're starting to see what we're up against. And unfortunately, I'm starting to think we might be too late. Come on. Stop. I'm not taking one more step until you tell me exactly what the fuck is going on here. And don't even think about saying one word short of the absolute truth, you hear me? The truth can be a slippery subject. Sam! Look, I'm sorry, Linda. But I just don't think I'm able to give you what you want. I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. Hmm. <laughs> Call back. God, you're so full of it. Call back. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No. You won't be straight with me. Fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old. But you're barely older than me. Mm. How does that make any sense? So what are you implying? That's why he still looks so good, because he's not I'm actually old. you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? <laughs> Time travel stories in multiverse shit always gets me so excited, because it's just like so many different possibilities out there in, a, in an entire... Uh, the universe is ever expanding. The multiverse. It's like... For every path taken... There oh. exists another, taken by a shadow self, another reality, another world. Exactly. Worlds so close they bleed together. Oh my God! You see, the timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, I mean, like, okay, like I was saying, multiverse shit is just so fascinating. Descent of the Damned. Because it could be, it could legitimately be like, you entered the old admin building. It could legitimately be like, there's a universe out there where I never chose to do YouTube. There's a universe out there where I found a passion in something else. And like, for me, present day, I've been into acting for a little bit. I've done 
I've done sports when I was younger, didn't really like them. I don't like them now, but you know, I'll go to events for the entertainment, for the fun of it, for the experience. But video games is just what resonates with me most. The the uni like the worlds that people can create with the games that they make, it it pulls me in. I'm so fascinated with like how video games work and the mechanics and the lighting and and just like the storytelling. Storytelling specifically, anything I like the storytelling of things. So there are universes out there where I just, I have other interests in other things. And this, this never happened. Choices were made differently. Oh, do I want to keep playing? Shit. We made some pretty decent progress. What is this? Chapter nine, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's about six more chapters. Shit. I'll play through this chapter and then we'll call it a video. I'm so invested in this story. I'm just hoping this isn't one of the longer chapters. Where is everyone? Oh, that door's open. Uh, hold on. I gotta check all these stalls for possibles, collectibles, and secrets. They're not giving me an option to scan for my so I don't think I have to worry about that. I can't even walk into the stall. What if there was a collectible? I gotta check the toilets. I gotta rummage through. I gotta dig my hand in there. I gotta really search. You're not searching if you don't get your hands dirty. Ooh, do I squeeze or crawl? Which way is gonna lead me to progress? Ooh, I didn't like the creek. I didn't like that creek. Surely there's a way to the other side. There is. I was just looking for a collectible. Like this, for example. Always need one of these. Yep, of course, of course. I don't know what they're used for, but I got it. See, because had I not come over here, right, I would have I would have gone the way to progress, and then I would have been like, oh, I need to go back and find a key. Where would I find a key? Oh, see, look, the key, the fucking key. I told you. Oh, God, it's somebody's head. My darling Franklin Norman. Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. This Frank Stone's locker? This guy's name is Franklin Norman. It upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn from me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know whether hap you know whatever happens, I'll always be here for you. Nothing in all the world could ever stop me loving you. I will always be in your life. Three weeks ago you told me making friends was hard. I can sympathize, my love. Precious few are ever worth making. Every time they open their mouths, all you can feel is insects crawling under your skin. Every vapid, vapid look forces you to nod and smile and pretend we're listening to what they say. You too are important to be wa you are too important to be wasted on them, and one day you'll find that place I've always told you about, where you can truly appreciate how much smaller they've always they've always been. Until then, we endure. But you do not become. Write back to me soon, Norman. I know you can't leave your ma waiting too long to hear from her only grandson again. I will always watch you. Love, ma. Well, okay then. Frank was left psychologically vulnerable by his difficult upbringing. Frank Stone. So Frank Stone's name was Franklin Norman. Where'd the stone come from? Where did... Where's the whole Frank Stone shit? Why am I actually here? What part of the storyline is this? Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. Yeah, no, of course, I got that. I was just, just looking. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Needs a part. Everything needs a part. Gotta be around here someplace. You need a part. I need a part. We all need a part. Is there any pieces around here that don't need parts? That's a little SpongeBob reference for anybody who didn't get it. What the hell is this part that I'm looking for? Oh, there it is. One to go. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. It's got to be in here.
Come on. Give me what I came here for and I'll be out of your hair. Right there it is. Wait, maybe? No, it's just telling me to squeeze. Telling me to squeezy. You're coming with me. Buddy. How did I walk right past that? How did I just miss that? I was over here. This is like the first place that I checked. Whatever. Whatever. Done and done now. That sounds promising. Um, I don't know if I did that right. I guess we'll find out. Can't waste. What if I twist it the other way? Ah, okay. I see. I did it right. I got it. I got it. Find a way back to the others. God, guys! I'm coming! Guys, I'm here! Hello? Somebody help me? Hi, May. I know I just saw your dead body, but... But is there a chance that maybe you're still alive? I think one of the other things about uh, the, the concept of this story being like a multiverse story is that going back and making like alternate choices makes sense. It, it gives the game some sort of like, you know, oh, if like if there's somebody who's a real stickler for trying to pick, par pick apart a game, it's like, oh, you know, how can... Jaime still be alive and dead at the same time. Well, dumbass, it's a multiverse story. Is that a belt? Merlin. Oh my god, this dog. Found Merlin's collar. Okay, cool. That's a thing. God. If I ever get out of this maze, I'm gonna take Bonnie's advice. And leave Cedar Hills. Good. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. Hell yeah, girl. Be the best version of yourself you could possibly be. Don't stick to one place for too long. You'll find yourself shrouded in meaninglessness if you do that. Unless you just really like it where you are. I mean, I I can't... I hate tight spaces. I can barely... Now, are you claustrophobic? Is this making you uncomfortable? How many of you out there watching this is this making you uncomfortable? Are you having a hard time breathing right now? You're manually breathing, by the way. Damn, this place is a fucking maze. What the hell? Okay, well, follow the light. That's obviously leading me towards, uh, progress. My many years of being a gamer has taught me that if you follow the light, you are leading yourself to f fucking hell. Okay, that's progress. Ugh, just the just the sloshing and the crunching. I hate the sound alone. F stone. Oh, he's got a little journal. Fuck. November twelfth. Frank Stone's journal. November twelfth. I haven't. I have not heard from her. I did an instruct. I did as instructed, but for weeks I have been left alone. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purpose as I was told? Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. Every night I dream of the forest, of the darkness all around me. I am afraid, too scared to move forward or cry out because it stands beyond the fog. Sometimes I can see their shapeless forms writhing in the flames like snakes. The hiss of their screams burns my ears. If they are evil, why do they scream? How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure all of Cedar Hills has not been lost to sin? Should I not just destroy them all? Purge the town completely? I will not act without instruction. I stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. I will wait. Damn, that's a lot of reading. Finally, she has come back to me and she is happy. I have well exceeded her expectations. She says she has found the root of evil. The source of the root that has eaten at the town. I sit beneath its very foundations. Howard Tester is the leader of a wicked coven. From him, the branches of evil stretch out and infect everything. But he is beyond my righteous judgment. Although he roots his root, he rots in a pit of hell. His spawn still lingers here. DPBKLRJR. 
Four names, four more trials that I must conquer. She tells me not to rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that test her bird to carry out my task. I will turn his creation into the, th the thing that destroys his legacy. I will purify it as I will his town. This town. Man and beast, metal and flesh, bound by fire. Then I will reach the other side and see what it is to be eternal, to be divine. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest, the path is clear, and the fire waits for me. I will not be afraid. Okay. So it's clear to me that Frank Stone's got some issues. Frank Stone was heavily influenced by someone who made him believe his crimes were righteous acts. Yeah, well. Look. Okay. That's very unsettling. Oh my god, this You discovered Frank Stone's old this nest. This place is so fucked. More reading! I, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anybody saw me was February 16th, 1963. I'd spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty Daryl, with Rusty Daryl and a few other guys down at Cedar Cedar Creek. I thought that was Rusty Daryl for a second. Like, who the fuck calls somebody Rusty Daryl? By the time it started getting dark, I was pretty wasted. And when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I got kind of mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother, had I have I paid for it? Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. Oh, there's a backside. Only this mother is, of Pearl. This is awful. I don't know how long I was asleep for, but when I woke up, this guy was there. A big, tall guy. It was real dark, but I could still see him staring at me. Cold, mean eyes looking right through me. I think I'm underground. I hear noises above me. It sounds like machines, like a factory or something. I might be in the mill. I've seen a guy. I've seen the guy a few times. Those dim eyes staring at me. I hear him whispering stuff, but I don't know what he's saying. I think he's going to kill me. I'm so scared, Mom. I wish I could see you again. I wasn't the greatest son, but you were always there for me. I couldn't have asked for a better guy or a better mom. Maybe you're better off without me. I don't know. If you ever read this letter, tell Rusty I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. I was acting like a jackass. Same as always. Just know I'm sorry for everything. Love. I love you, Dwight A. Parker. Damn. Damn. Taken by the hands of Frank Stone. The Doctor! The brilliant mind, the broken psyche. Yeah, the Doctor Loki kind of fucking sucks, let me tell you. If you're up against somebody who really knows how to play the Doctor, you are in for a time. I played a... Uh... Back where I started? Yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? Okay, then. I played Dead by Daylight with a couple of friends uh, a few days ago, and um... <laughs> we played against the Doctor. <laughs> Didn't get a single generator. Didn't fix a single generator. That guy had us all bent at the knee. Oh shit, that was a quick chapter. Okay, cool. In the House of Madness. Horologium. Horologium? What the hell? Where are we? Uh, are you okay? Uh, what? B Bonnie? What? Oh, easy, easy. What is? What is this? It's okay. It's okay. You're not Bonnie. No, I, um, Bonnie was my mom. Did you know her? She's my boyfriend's sister. Your mom? Uh, uh, ooh, ooh. She would definitely be confused in this situation. I, I feel like if somebody, if I just came out of a, of a portal or wherever she just came from, and somebody said that they were... Uh, a 20 something year old's mom, but she looks 20 herself. I'd be like, excuse me? She's definitely gonna be confused in the situation. Your mom? But that's, 
How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Uh, my mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We were in the mill. We were just shooting. We just finished the movie. What the hell? Oh, this is insane. This is insane. Everybody. Oh my God, there's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. Who the fuck is she? Who the After fuck is I she? Her, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Stan. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? I don't want to find out. Don't make me go back. I gotta try. Oh. I'm sure she wants to go back home. If there's any chance that's true, I, I gotta try. My friends are in terrible danger. I, I gotta get back to them, wherever they are. Fuck, is uh, this gonna kill Chris? Why don't you climb back into the uh, chamber, whatever it is. I'll see if I can figure out these controls. Keep an eye out for any uh, interruptions. You just stay out of the way, Stanford. Okay, uh, is there a switch on that thing? Yeah, I see it. Okay, you should flip it. Ah, Christ! Try using that pole thing. <sighs> ah! Jesus Christ! I gotta work that finger out a little bit more. What do I do now? I think you should get in. Oh. Bye, Chris. It was nice knowing you. For the five seconds that you were here, Maddie helped you use the sarcophagus. Did we do a bad? Did I do a bad? I wasn't supposed to do that, was I? Oh no, maybe I was. Maybe, yeah. Damn. That was a quick chapter, holy shit. Okay. There was no gameplay involved whatsoever. machine shop oh hi may chris was successfully sent back to 1980 no 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 God damn it. All right, this is where we're gonna end it. Shit's getting intense. I have no idea where this is gonna go, how this is gonna end. I'm really hoping that Jaime is the only one that died. I I was so looking forward to not killing anybody, honestly, but Jaime's dead. I, I chose to be the hero and this is what happens. Moral of the story, don't be a hero if you're not confident or if you're up against a ghost, especially the second one. If you want to see my most recent video, I'll have that link somewhere around here. And if you want to see the last video of the casting of Frank Stone where I fucking killed Harvey, that'll also be linked somewhere around here as well. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big body out.